the vital economic link for a vast and rich and rugged land. This gentle land I'm moving through The air smells good The sky is soft and blue Five miles of wheat fields surrounding me At night I try to dream But yellow wheat is all I see Won't you come down, Annie? You would be having so much fun The morning's got wild blossoms The afternoon's got sun Gentle Annie, gentle Annie The railroad is deeply involved in the lives of the people it serves. The scene is repeated thousands of times in Washington, Oregon, Idaho, Montana, North Dakota, South Dakota, Nebraska, Kansas, Colorado, where more than half of America's wheat is grown. Wheat, corn, barley, oats, pears from Oregon and oranges from California, beef from Colorado and potatoes from Idaho, sugar from Wyoming and fish from the Pacific. Food moves from farm to table on a scale that only the railroad can handle. As basic as food is fuel. Abundant low sulfur coal from Montana and Wyoming helps meet the demand for cleaner air and helps ease the nation's energy crisis. There was no way to transport this coal economically until the railroad provided a unit train. A train that carries only one kind of cargo to a single destination. The city, Chicago or Seattle, Denver or Dallas, Omaha or St. Paul. Without the railroad's massive movement of goods in and out each day, our cities could not exist.
To keep traffic moving smoothly, the railroad has invested tens of millions of dollars in sophisticated electronic equipment. It enables one track to handle almost as much traffic as two. Oh, 